Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week of May 18th through the 24th. This is for Scorpio. I know that I am a little bit late. I do apologize. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed, overwhelmed with work, so I haven't been able to get to it. Um, but I will put you towards the top of the list for the next segment, okay? So anyway, so what do we have for Scorpio for the week of the 18th through the 24th? We are going to start, or the 25th, we're going to go to the 25th and we're going to start with Tuesday the 19th because that's what today is. So what do we have for Scorpio for this week? But you know, the timing is fluid, so this is just, uh, you know, this could happen next week. So let's just get an overall energy. This could happen a month from now, or this reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Scorpio for the 19th through the 25th? An overall energy, please. Ooh, Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords, there's some sort of deception. Somebody's hiding something. Uh, they may be lying. They may be uh, deceiving. I mean, the Seven of Swords is deception. Uh... You know, he's got five swords in his hand. The five of swords is betrayal. So there is some sort of betrayal here this week. Somebody may be looking back. They may be going back. They may be wanting to go back. Or, you know, they left something behind and they're they're watching it. You know, there could be so, it's just, for example, that two of swords, just, there's double loyalty here. We have an individual who may be... Um, hiding the fact that they are looking back at the past. Do you know what I'm saying? They're hiding it and they're, they're, there's an element of betrayal because they left something behind. They know they left something behind and they're still looking at it. They're still uh, interested in it. They, they're um, considering going back for it, put it that way. So there's some sort of deception here. Somebody is considering going back to something that they left behind, okay? So let's get started. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, what do we have for the 19th? Five of Swords reversed and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The 20th. Nine of Coins and the Ten of Coins. Interesting. 21st, 10 of wands reversed, and the five of coins reversed. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Queen of cups, eight of swords, Saturday. Four of cups and the page of cups reversed, Sunday. Queen of coins reversed and the seven of wands upright, and Monday. What do we have for Monday? Seven of Swords reversed, getting caught. Whoever's doing this deceiving is going to get caught by Monday. The truth is going to come out. There could be some exposure by Sunday. Hmm. And the lovers reverse. There's another person. There is, and there is absolutely another person involved here. Um. Somebody may be cheating or they're lying or with somebody, you know, that they left behind. Somebody from the past, they may be feeling guilty or they're definitely hiding something. So this week, there's there's something that may be revealed, okay, by Monday. If Because with the lovers reversed, there's like, there could be a separation because of the, the betrayal, because of the deceit, because of the the truth that comes out, okay? There could be, okay, uh, by the, by Monday. By Monday, there's there's there could be a fight even or an argument with the lovers reversed, a conflict. There's definitely definitely a disconnection, okay? Or there's relationship issues. Somebody's been cheating or deceiving or lying, okay? So there's that's what the meaning that's the that that's on the surface this week. So Tuesday, the five of swords reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed. So this is the ba the past. 
the past coming back to haunt somebody. I'm telling you what, we have somebody that hasn't moved on from the past here. There's definitely a betrayal going on. It's definitely unfortunate. Um, I feel like there's going to be this, this is like exposure here. That something is going to be exposed this week. And on Tuesday, it could be an accident. I mean, this is like a, the real fortune reverse is an unfortunate accident. Okay. But it's not really an accident. Whatever comes out or whatever is happening is meant to be. Something's not working out. We have a we have a situation that's not working out. I think we, we have an individual that is not telling the truth. We got a person that is trying to prove it's it's definitely a power struggle. They're trying to prove themselves, but they're lying, which is very interesting. It's like they're really, really lying. Going to extremes to cover up something. We have an individual who only is looking out for number one. I don't know if this is a volatile situation or what. There could be some humiliation. Somebody, it's like somebody may be humiliated. Somebody's going to get caught or, they, or have gotten caught. This is bad luck, bad karma. Which is interesting. I could get another card for Tuesday. This is definitely not good. Three of Cups reversed. There is a third party situation here. There is. And somebody is, is almost like, they're really trying to cover up. They're really trying to hide it. But there could be there could be some gossiping going around, people talking, you know, and something gets revealed. It could have something to do with friends. Somebody could be messing with a friend of a friend or a friend, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend or something like that. Then we could have an enemy disguised as a friend. But there's a party. This party is over. The celebration is the honeymoon is over. Something is happening, and I feel like there's it's gonna be uh, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, somebody is gonna say something, and it's gonna be the wrong thing. And it feels like all hell is gonna break loose. Now, this is Tuesday. Tuesday, there's gossiping, there's people talking. And usually the Wheel of Fortune reverse is an unfortunate accident. Something comes out, it's very unfortunate. It's un But it is, it's meant to be. There's been some sort of betrayal and it's going to start to be revealed on Tuesday. And it has to do with gossip. Somebody, you know, that gossip comes back. It comes back and somebody said something, maybe to one of their friends. And one of their friends, you know, isn't really their friend and it gets back to the person. So be careful about who you talk to. All right, because there's a friend that really isn't a friend that could, you know, spill the beans. Anyway, so Tuesday something could get said that shouldn't get said and it gets back to the one. Anyhow, Wednesday, independence, ten of coins. I'm good on Wednesday. The nine of coins is somebody who is very self-sufficient, very um, comfortable, has has a lot of value, knows their value. Um, single, grateful, the storm is over, grateful that the storm is over. This is uh, enjoying life, very, very comfortable. So we have a person here that is very capable of being abundant by themselves. So, so Wednesday is a day of perhaps just enjoying your, your single life or enjoying yourself, doing well. Uh, you know, the Nine of Coins, the Ten of Coins is, is very comfortable. It's a very comfortable day. Just sitting back and thinking, thinking about your life, thinking about your future, thinking about your your home. Maybe you're working on your home. You're focusing on your home. You're um, building up your home 
are building up a business. This is somebody who has picked themselves up from rock bottom, really focusing on their business or their home. Could be a business owner or somebody could be creating their own business. This is about um, definitely this. We have an individual here that is thinking about their their family, thinking about their legacy, building up financial security. It's all focused around the establishment or the home on Wednesday. Maybe it's fixing up the home, buying a new home, permanency about passing on who they're going to pass on their money to perhaps because these could something about an inheritance could be working on a will it's time to focus on something permanent it's time to focus on stability so if wednesday is about uh family and home and stability and security and comfort making your home more comfortable there could even be a change in the home okay there could be a change for some of you this is enjoying life and being very comfortable by yourself perhaps somebody may be deciding you know that they're they're better off alone Nine of Coins is a very independent energy. There could be an increase in money. Somebody may get an inheritance or news of inheritance on Wednesday. This is like family money, perhaps. Something to do with building up financial security and money being passed down. So that's interesting. Or a home being passed down. Or thinking about family values. Something like that. Thursday, Ten of Wands reversed and the Five of Coins reversed. So this is letting go. Of something that was holding you down. Perhaps they were, it was financially holding you down. With the five of pentacles reversed. This is um, an unhealthy. We have an unhealthy relationship here. We really do. But this is making a conscious change to let something go. Freeing yourself. There's freeing yourself from something that is causing you to... Be in financial hardship. This is like, I mean, it feels like you're dealing with somebody who can't really give. They aren't giving much. And it, all the all the work is on your back. Everything is handed to you. All the responsibility is handed to you. And on Thursday, you may be deciding that it feels like, a, you know, for some of you, this is a week of... of going your own way it really is because there's some sort of deception here i feel like you're de you may be dealing with a person that isn't really giving they're, they're you're doing all somebody what this is one-sided okay one person is doing all the work while the other person is almost like getting a free ride and looking at the past so it's it's really messed up it is really messed up there is somebody that keeps on um Maybe they're talking to the past or they want to go back to the past or they're thinking about the past here. They left something behind and maybe that's why they're not putting in effort. So we have on Thursday, there's dropping something that has been weighing you down and costing you money. So, you you know, somebody is thinking about their future. They're thinking about their stability. They're thinking about their value. They're thinking about their heritage. They're thinking about their family and their permanence and their future. But they're also dealing with an individual who's not putting in the effort. They're not, they really can't give. They can't. They don't have the means to or the desire. And this is a lot of responsibility for one person. It's like having another dependent. 
Interesting. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, Thursday, this is this is letting this is uh, dropping something, making a conscious change to break free. So this is freedom, dropping something. This is too much response, letting something go that you know, and maybe it's something that costs money because this is this is living a very comfortable life, having it all, yes. But perhaps there is still, and that's what you're thinking about on Wednesday. Maybe you got to let something go to have that comfortable life. Maybe somebody's going to sell something. Anyhow, Friday, we get the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person um, probably, you know, the Eight of Swords is trapped, stuck, depressed, perhaps but appears to be very kind and gentle and loving and caring. But there's a level of trapped, trapped in an old situation, mentally. So I'm not sure if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. On Friday, this is mental turmoil. Needing to break free, seriously, needing to step out of this comfort zone. I think that Fridays may be an emotional day. It may be an emotional day. It could be an intense day. There could be some paranoia or some fear. But there also could be some support with the Queen of Cups. That's, 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 the, the Queen of Cups is somebody that is very supportive, very kind, very gentle. Maybe trying to help somebody see clearly. Because this person is obviously confused. Trying to ease somebody's worries. Trying to get somebody to open up. So we do have a water sign. I don't know if it's you or somebody else that really cares. This, per, this water sign cares really really cares ooh tower moment now i'm not sure now this queen of, queen of cups can can be very um wishy-washy so i think that this person really cares but is also trapped in an old situation. I think we have an old situation here. I think that uh, things are gonna get rough on Friday. There could be, there could be um, a flip out. Okay, there could be a flip out on Friday because we have an individual that will not step out of their old space they can't they still care somebody still cares for somebody in their past and i think that there's going to be a major disruption there could be a flip out session on on friday it's like you've tried to build the foundation with an individual that is trapped in their head doesn't know what they want is confused keeps wanting to go back to something and and can't move on so Friday there's gonna be a tower moment where there could be a fight or a flip out session where things crumble really 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 fast it's a false foundation somebody built up a foundation that wasn't stable based on Maybe it was fantasy because of the Queen of Cups is, is very, you know, dreamy. I think we on Friday that we, we, we have a major disruption that is coming, okay? Um, and things are going to fall apart, unfortunately. Things are going to fall apart because we have an individual that has not been um, stepping outside of their safety zone. They've been staying with somebody that 
probably takes care of them, but they want to go back. They want to they want to go back to somebody in their past, which is interesting. So Saturday, the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. Now this is an unrequited love situation. It's a one-sided love. It is. Not interested. Turning down the offer or rejection, tears, sadness, Saturday. Somebody's bubble has been burst. This is like rejection. Somebody was infatuated, obsessed, obsessed with another person. And I feel like on Saturday, uh, because on Friday something happens, there's something that's going to happen on Friday that causes a major disruption in the relationship with this, with a water sign. Okay. It could be drinking involved. I'm not sure what happens, but something is going to happen that causes things to, to crumble and fall apart. Somebody gets really mad and maybe throws something or I don't know what happens, but Friday could be a day of things falling apart really, really, really fast. And you know, whenever I see tied up hands, I think, and it doesn't mean this is going to happen, but they, you know, maybe there could be some handcuffs. You know, this person looks like they're laughing. So somebody could be laughing. It's funny. Well, it's not funny to the other person. And somebody gets really pissed off. So I don't know what's going to happen on Friday. But you might just want to be by yourself. Anyhow, Saturday, the Four of Cups with the Page of Cups reverse. This is uh, Shattered Dreams, Tears, Rejection. I'm not interested. It's like we have this, buddy, this person that is offering love to this one. And it's like, nope, I don't want it. Lack, there's probably what there's not good this isn't good news there may not be any communication we have an individual that is not interested they're not interested in giving they're not interested in even looking at this or talking about it or anything so saturday it looks like it's a day of um i think it's going to be a very emotional day uh feeling sad perhaps or discontent or uh, being ignored Okay, not want, not getting any attention at all. Somebody's not going to be getting any attention at all because they're not feeling loved or they're not getting reciprocation. This is an unrequited love. It's a one-sided love. It is a one-sided love. So I feel like on on uh, Saturday there it's going to be realizing it. It's real. This person is not interested. They're just not interested. There's not going to be communication. There's going to be silent treatment on Saturday. There's, it's going to be a day of, um, it's going to be a very emotional day of just being honest with you. Sunday. Queen of Coins reversed and the Seven of Wands. So this is climbing out of a hole. Dealing with an individual that doesn't have anything to offer. The Queen of Coins reverse. This person doesn't have any money. She may not have a job. Um, doesn't work very much. Doesn't have, doesn't put in a lot of effort. Lazy. Um, isn't a very good homemaker. Um, isn't stable. Isn't secure. Very jealous. Very possessive. Um, maybe dealing with somebody with dirty blonde hair. This person um, is spendy. She spends money, but doesn't have enough to spend. So she's she uh, uh, makes poor financial decisions. So anyway, on on Saturday, this is climbing out of a hole. There could definitely be feeling. I mean, it feels like there's there's I don't know. These these are like clouds, but it feels like fire. You know, it feels like fire. Um, we have a very stubborn individual that um, is challenging your ability to stay on top. It's like they they spend so much money or they don't have anything to offer that they're, they're, they're taking you under. So I feel like on Saturday you are, you may be deciding to uh, climb away from this person or go away from this person finding your strength to deal with this interesting five of cups we definitely have a broken relationship here there's not not any teamwork there isn't any teamwork we have one person that is doing all the work and the other person is spending all the money or not putting in effort lazy spendy uh selfish so it's interesting um and this is this is crying crying over this 
situation. It's, it's broken. It's, it, it can't be fixed. It can't be fixed. So I feel like Saturday, it's like wanting to fight for it, but grieving, knowing that it can't be fixed. So I think on Saturday, you know, you're not wanting to give up, right? You're not wanting to give up. You're wanting to put in effort with this person, but it feels like this person is just, they don't think it's any big deal. If you, if you think about this one and this one, it's like it's, they got a smile on their face. It's like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. It is a big deal because it's not a big deal to them because it's, it's easy. It's nice and easy. So to them, it's not a big deal because you're doing all the work. I think it's, it's Saturday it is you working to climb out of this hole that whoever this person has, has put you in, trying to fix it. You're trying to fix it, but it's already broken. So Saturday, I feel like you, you are going to be trying to fix something that is broken. You're going to keep trying to fix it, and it's already broken. So interesting. So Sunday, the Seven of Swords reversed, the Lovers reversed. That's a false contract, getting caught. Seeing the truth. Truth being revealed. So you, there is a definitely an individual that you are dealing with that has another person that they are talking to from their past. That is, or, or to you, the lovers is a choice between two people. Period. And there's seven of swords is deception. And they've been getting away with it, getting away with it, getting away with it. And perhaps something gets revealed and during this week at some point. Uh, Sunday, on uh, Sunday, it's the truth. I mean, the truth is, is that there's another person. Maybe it's accepting it. Maybe that's why another reason why this person isn't putting in effort. It's no big deal to them. They got a free ride. Anyhow. This is a disconnection, a separation from somebody that is not being honest. Detaching. You know, I feel like this week is going to be a rough week. I think that Wednesday is going to be the day where you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about your family. You're thinking about yourself. You're thinking about your value. You're thinking about where you came from. You're thinking about what you want in the, in the future. So I think that Wednesday is a day of really thinking about your value and, and who you are. And, you know, the rest of the week looks very um, tough. I have to be honest with you. I think you're dealing with an individual who is is dealing with somebody from their past and they're hiding it very, very well. But uh, by Sunday, I think that this is going to be clear. So, I mean, there is another choice here. There's another option. And I think that maybe you've been in denial because of this mask right here. Somebody's been in denial. They've been choosing not to see it or not to see it or accept it or whatever the case is. But there's going to be a tower moment. And that is on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, on Friday, there's going to be a tower moment where somebody flips out and, you know, it's not funny. It's really not funny. So something is going to happen that forces somebody to turn around and see it for what it is. Um, it's a one-sided situation with an individual who uh, thinks that they can get away with whatever they're doing because you're allowing them to. So be prepared to deal with this whole situation this week. There's 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 tears on Saturday and there's tears on Sunday. But on our yeah, on Sunday is trying to fix it. You're going to try to fix it? You're you're still going to try to fix this that is it's shattered. It's completely sh it's like this is this is it's shattered. It's it is. It's time for something new. Anyhow, good luck.